You gotta hit that, I got you. Alright, in the nature and power of Allah, the master of spiritual insight and perceive of all truths, arise and give all praises due to Allah, now give honor to his holy and illustrious prophets, messages, guides, apostles, ETC. Come on. So, what you want to ask him his nationality? You already know it. What's your yeah. what's your nationality? I'm African, I'm not Nigerian, man. You're not Nigerian? No. That's the country you got citizenship in? No, I was born over here, but I feel like 18 years over in Nigeria. But like, you was born here? Yeah, but I spent like four years probably. Are you a citizen of Nigeria? Also, yeah. Because when the children need clothes, He's the a bring citizen the little boy up and girl clothes. When the daughter need clothes, so, up and boy clothes. that does it. That makes him a citizen of a country. Definitely, definitely. Come through, catch me on the side. Yeah. So what's up? So, basically, because he's Nigerian, you know what I'm saying? But he was born in America. He got a citizenship in Nigeria. That make him Nigerian-American. Yeah. yeah. The so-called Negro doesn't have that problem. I mean, doesn't have that situation. Whereas, you know, we have a country of citizenship where we can look to, where we can refer to a flag of political representation or legal representative capacity. Thing. So, at the present moment in time, although he's what they call melanated or what they call dark ETC, he doesn't meet the criteria to be black because black people are non descendable. Non-descendable means you don't have it. You, you can't. You can't. You can't show them, You can't show your descendant nature. You can't show what people you coming from legally. What what your inheritances are. You know what I'm saying? So you're uninheritable. Now the brother here because he's not. It's not. Yeah, where are you? All right, stay right there. Stay right there. What's the last thing I said? In non-inheritance. Yeah. Right. So you see the so-called Negro in North America, he was given the name Negro, Black, and Colored between the years of 1774 and 1779 until 1865 during the time of slavery. A slavery which was mental, psycholo psychological, <coughs> and mental, not just physical. So, because the so-called Negro, was, is unable to chase himself back to a nation of people, he can't inherit anything that his forefathers may have left him. Or perhaps that was taken from his forefathers. What was taken from the so-called Negro's forefathers? Land, customs, cultures, tradition, religion, language, historic continuity, a body politic, an organized real society in which men can govern themselves and their own affairs without external forces interfering. You know what I'm saying? Just because the brother is Nigerian American doesn't mean that he doesn't go through the planks of the so called American Negro. It just means that his political disposition is different. I brought a this book, man. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. What country are you a citizen of? God is not country. Listen, you got a green card? You don't sound like you're from God here. You got a green card? Yo, listen, don't play with me because I call somebody on you and then take you back to your country. Uh, uh, no problem. No problem. <laughs> you too. <laughs> I, was born, I was born in Harlem Hospital. That's what nationality is. That's what nationality is. <laughs> you say all that. I call somebody, they'll come pick you up and take you back to your country. You, want to, you can talk about Jesus going that shit back home. That's real talk. They used to that Bible on that plane that's, that's, right that's back home. Now I'm talking about because I'm from right here. You going to deport who? I'm Moorish American. I have a nationality. I'm a descendant of Moroccans. Morocco being an empire, which is a political jurisdiction. That's where my people come from. My people come from northwest and southwest the shores of Africa, north, south, central. America and the adjoining islands, which is also known as the Western Hemisphere of the planet. And all of that is the inhabitation and dominion of the Moroccan Empire's Moorish nation, those people who had that land taken from them, and are the true uh, successors and inheritors of said land. There you go. So, you know. You got all that down. Oh yeah, this is like an everyday because it's life. This is real talk. This isn't yeah. something you gotta like. This isn't a script that you gotta memorize. This is real. Yeah, this real. really it's happened real. to people. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? This really happened to people, and that's what disenfranchisement is about. Political and legal dis. When first off, political disenfranchisement, nationality being the legal relationship between a person and a country. If you don't have a relationship that's legal between yourself and the country, that means that the country has no obligations to protect you. So how are you a citizen? Speaking a citizen facts. is not only a part and partial of the said government, but it also conferred protections by said government because he's a part 
that means you got to protect yourself. You can't expect somebody else to be a part of your government and protect you. If it's your government and somebody else is running it, then of course you're going to be taken advantage of. Peace, so you got to take peace. advantage of your own government. The American Republic was founded in 1774 to 1779, the first Continental Congress by original people. Yet people want to say that this is so-called white people's country and then they don't have no political strength in it. Definitely. But then you want to go on Facebook and talk about Black Lives Matter. I hear you. <laughs> said, I hear you. <laughs> and in well, the end of it, but I hear you. I don't know anything else. All exactly. I know is solutions. Y'all want to sit there and talk about the same problem for the last 105 years. Keep doing that. I hear you. Don't come to Harlem with that. Keep that where you at in your country. In America, here, we got problems, and I got the solution. It's called reading the book, getting yeah, the education. The and Jesus, the saved. Jesus saved. Jesus saved. Jesus saved. You sure he saves? <laughs> Let's not talk about people and we don't even know their customs and cultures and traditions. Like same Facts. Jesus. Yo, he going in real hard, He's man. I'm feeling it. I'm about to stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Hit the pause button. Yeah.